Hey, Night Nation, this is Miss Med. I'm coming back with a sequel to my welcome back videos. Gonna give you an update now that we've got more information than we had last week. So hopefully this is helpful to you. And let me get my screen going. All right, let me start with my stupid joke of the day. I won't be blaming the dads anymore. It's all on me. Why do teachers wear sunglasses? Oh, because their students are so bright. Uh, that goes to you guys because we're super excited to have you back and uh, know that you guys, a lot of you guys really want to be back in school even if you don't want to admit it and that's okay. All right, so I want to talk today about some new routines that are going to be happening here at school just to give you a heads up so you can start to picture how things are going to go. So we're going to cover some hand cleaning and mask things. Talk about getting around the building, a couple of changes there. We're gonna talk about breakfast and lunch, very important, food. What changes might are gonna happen there. Gonna give you a supply list. I never do that, but you know, I think, I think it's the year for a supply list. And then schedules, I know you all wanna hear about that and we've been working hard, so I'll give you some updates there. All right, so cleaning hands. You're gonna to come to the building every day and you're gonna get your hand sanitizer at the door before you even come in. And what you'll see is in every classroom in the building is a hand sanitizer. When you come in and when you leave every room in the building, you're going to take a squirt of that. You're going to rub it all over your hands till it dries up. And that will um, make sure that your hands are clean during the day. Anytime you're in the bathroom or near soap and water in a sink, you should wash your hands with soap and water because that's the best way to keep your hands clean. So make sure you do that. You sing the happy birthday song so you do it long enough. Um, I'm very used to that now. I've been doing it since March 13th. It's a little crazy. My hands have never been so clean in my whole life. So hopefully that's true for you guys. And if not, it will be starting when school opens. So when it comes to masks, I had some teachers help me sort of make sure that we are all wearing our masks the way it's intended and the way it's supposed to help keep us all safe. So I'm asking them, I help, asked them to help me play a little mask, ineffective mask bingo from uh, some of your teachers here. So the point of the mask is to cover your mouth and your nose so that any droplets that come out of it don't get on other people. So the mask protects others, not so much you, but other people. So let's look at what our teachers are doing. That's just not really the way they're supposed to do it. Mr. Martin is demonstrating the schnoz. His nose is sticking out. I know you've seen people like this. I've seen people like this. The whole point is to cover the mouth and the nose because that's where your breathing comes out. So Mr. Martin is not so helpful. Mr. Collins, who I will note has not cut his hair since the shutdown. It's looking a little out of control. Mr. Collins, he's wearing the sideways, which he has told me actually hurts because he's got his rubber band all around his head, but it's not covering the sides. I don't know why you'd put the rubber band around you like that. It looks painful to me, but uh, that doesn't sort of do what the mask is supposed to do. Uh, Ms. Fried is demonstrating the feed bag that person who's always taking it down to eat. When you eat lunch and breakfast here at school, you'll be able to take your mask off. You're gonna have to make sure you're six feet apart from other students and other and teachers. Something we'll talk about and, and help you understand that when you come back. But regularly taking it down to eat while you're next to people defeats the purpose of the mask. Miss Ross, the neck warmer. You've seen that, people wearing around here, sort of, you know, I got my mask, I'm not breaking the rules. I'm just not really gonna wear it. It's gotta go over your mouth and your nose. That's kind of that's kind of how it goes. Mr. Carter, I don't know, he looks a little bit like Abe Lincoln with the chin strap. The mask is not there to protect his beard. It's there to be worn over his house, his nose and mouth to protect all of us from Mr. Carter's spittle. Miss Downing, the plague talker. You know these people, they stand right next to you, they're close talkers and they keep pulling their mask down. And so then you're like, wait, they're talking right at me. You gotta keep it up. I know sometimes it is hard to hear. So if you're struggling to hear somebody, if you back up, so you're six feet apart, you can take it down to hear. And I think sometimes teachers will do that when they're teaching in class, if everybody's far away, far apart from each other. Mr. Petherbridge is demonstrating the hanger. You've seen that. I've even done that a couple of times, hanging around my ear. Um, yep, same as the neck warmer and the chin strap. It's not really the point. His ear is not where infectious spark, spark, uh, spittle comes from. Mrs. Robinson is demonstrating the hostage. If she moves her mouth, I think it will come off of her mouth. And it's not covering her nose. 
Um, I don't know if I've actually seen anybody who looks like that, but I, but I can imagine it. And then finally, Miss Seely, who, who just is great. She's got her mask in her pocket. Uh, it's, it's wadded up in her pocket, not useful in any way, shape, or form. So the mask really just has to go over your nose and your mouth. That's how it is. Cover your grill. You know the drill. All right. So thanks to those teachers. I'll post this bingo on our Instagram so you can play a little mask bingo because you know you're going to see these people around Lewis and Auburn and pulling mine at Mechanic Falls. So what happens if you forget your mask? You come to school and you don't have one. Don't worry. You don't have to leave. You don't have to drive home. You can just get one here. We're going to have lots of them. You'll see my buddy back here. He's got, he's got a disposable one. We'll have a pile of those and we'll be able to give them to you. I went to Whaley to get some Chinese food the other day and I got there and didn't realize I forgot my mask. I got lucky. I found it an old wadded up one in the bottom of the floor. It's not great because that means it's dirty, but it was better than walking in and having everybody stare at me. So uh, don't worry if you forgot it, we're going to have extras. All right. So getting around school. So the stairs are going to be a little bit different. The hallways are nice and wide, so you're going to be able to walk in the hallway as long as you stay to, the, to, to one side, stay in your lane, you're going to be fine. We're going to use the middle stairs. You can see the Black History Month um, poster. That was from back in February. We haven't fixed that since the shutdown, so that'll have to get updated. But these center stairs are from going up only. All right, and then the side stairs that are down by um, like where all the math classrooms are and over where like, you know, Spanish and French classrooms are, those are gonna be for going down, all right? So we're gonna have some signs, so you don't have to worry about remembering that. We'll have signs and make sure to help you, but that'll just help keep the traffic flow going so people aren't bumping into each other. Breakfast and lunch is a little bit different. So breakfast in the morning is gonna be to go. It'll be at the door and you'll be able to grab it, give them your pin and, and take your lunch with you. Yeah, we don't totally have the morning worked out yet because we also don't know quite yet about transportation, but we do know this part about the morning. So for lunch, you're going to pre-order it on the first day you're in person. So either Monday or Thursday, you're going to pre-order it. We'll have a survey, a form for you to do that'll come in your email and your teachers will help you remember to do that. Um, you're going to order for the week. You're going to get your choices. There won't be as many choices. The a la carte's not going to be there this year. Sorry. Um, but there will be choices and you will be able to select the one that you want. Um, and then order for when you're going to be remote. If you want to make sure you have some lunch when, you, when you're home for the three days you're going to be home, then you can order it then as well. You're going to eat, we think right now, you'll be able to eat in the cafe and the lobby. We're actually going to use the lobby as well and maybe some classrooms. Um, the cafe and the lobby both have very different tables. There's only going to be two people at a table. And we think about 50 kids can eat in the cafe and about 50 in the lobby, no more than that. Um, but this is one of those areas where once you guys come back, we'll see how that's working and make changes if we need to. You're gonna be six feet apart from each other because you have to be six feet apart when you take your mask off. So when you are, who is the feedback, Ms. Frida? You can't, you have to be away from people when if you pull your mask down to eat, you gotta be six feet apart. So that's, um, we're gonna set it up for that. But we're going to regularly review lunch because we also know that it matters, that it's important to have some social time and to talk to your friends. And we want to make sure that the lunch setup we have lets you do that. So this is, again, we have a plan to start, but I think it's one of those plans that with some feedback from you guys will help us um, get better at it. So supplies. I don't usually give you a supply list, but this year we are so that you can have your own things. So we're going to ask you to get a bunch of different writing utensils, colored pencils, whiteboard markers. Pens, pens and pencils, um, some notebook paper. That's not really a writing utensil. I just realized it's the wrong list, but you know what I mean. You don't need a ton of notebook paper, but just have some. Your teachers will use Google Classroom a lot, so you won't need a ton of that. Uh, if you can get a whiteboard eraser or some kind of a cloth that you can use to clean off a whiteboard, you use that a lot in math and science, that would be good. Get a ruler, some highlighters, some tissues. Bring your own tissues. One of those small handheld pencil sharpeners and then a pencil box or a bag or something to carry all that in and just have it with you during the day. That way you don't have to share it with anybody else. Teachers don't have to worry about cleaning it and you'll have your own stuff. Don't worry if you can't get your own supplies. We will have supplies here and we'll give them to you. So don't worry about that. Okay. Let's see schedules. I know you're all dying. So we shut down, I think the portal is shut down so you can't see the schedules. And we did that because we're moving things around a lot. But 
make sure you remember semester one, when you come back, is only gonna be a blue day every day. If you go to LRTC on a blue day, you're gonna go to LRTC every day. We're gonna try to open the camp, amp, Infinite Campus portal by the end of next week, hopefully. Your counselors, Mr. McFadden, Mrs. Rhodes, and um, Ms. Bush have been here since last Friday. They've been working like dogs, they're awesome. They are gonna try to do everything they can to make sure that you get the classes that you want. We haven't had to cancel very many, but we have had to cancel a couple. Um, it's just things that are out of our control. So hopefully we'll get that ready and out to you by the end of next week. The cohorts are also hopefully coming out to you by the end of next week. I know you wanna know if you're gonna be here on a Monday, Tuesday or Thursday, Friday. If you're a Monday, Tuesday, that's cohort A. If you're Thursday, Friday, cohort B. If you're a student who's gonna be here four days a week, you're gonna be cohort C. And then there's a small number of you who are gonna be doing the virtual learning and you're gonna be cohort D. Um, so you should be getting all that in the next week. And then teachers come back this Thursday, this coming Thursday, a week from today. This is Thursday, I don't know when you're gonna see this video, but they're coming back next Thursday, the 20th. And on that day, we'll have more information to give you or in the next couple of days, because they're gonna be here for about seven days before you guys come. And so any or other information we send out to you, I'll get them to help me with the video so you don't have to keep listening to me. Some of them are much more entertaining than I am. So keep your eyes open. Don't hesitate to call or email if you have a question. We are here. Mr. Flynn and I are also here all the time and we'll help you, okay? I hope you have a great rest of your summer and we can't wait to see you soon. Bye.